reminding people that she is queer at Keek Palmer. Palmer discussed how she spent years suppressing her sexuality when speaking with Raven Simone and her wife Miranda Maddy on their show The Best Show Ever with Raven and Miranda. There was a time in my life when I questioned whether I could be authentic. When you start to overthink anything, she remarked. That's not even me. Why am I thinking this through so much? I suppose there comes a time when I just want my life to be my own. Palmer first repressed her desire to women because she didn't want her family to find out. But by the time she was 17, she was no longer able to do so. Because I liked boys too, I was kind of like, well, we don't have to talk about it, she recalled. There is like an unsaid thing that can make you feel. It was like that's another extra thing that no one really needs to know about because I like guys too, she said. I'm not really required to live outside. The process of being able to experience love, she explained, was eventually just acceptance of that aspect of myself in general. Sexuality and stuff like that, that was not even, my parents never even cared about something like that or talked about that, the speaker claimed. And I'm aware that once they realized how spirit-free I was and who I wanted to date, they were like, who cares? Never did they have anything on their minds. Darius Jackson, the baby's father, recently called Palmer out for wearing a seductive outfit while pregnant, thus Palmer may be open to dating new people. Palmer's song I Don't Belong to You had a music video that year called I Don't Belong to You, in which the singer meets Cassie's character and marries her. She soon disclosed her real-life sexual orientation. I belong only to myself, no one else. I have to decide for myself. I decide what happiness means. I determine my sexuality, she said. And because I am the one who chooses, and that can change, this can change, and I can make it what I want to make. Earlier this year, when she received the Vanguard Award at the Los Angeles LGBT Center's annual gala, she spoke more openly about her sexual orientation. She said after winning the award, I'm very thrilled to be here today to be embraced by a community that I've always felt accepted by and part of. For me, sexuality and identity have always been a mess. I never felt straight enough, you know. Never did I feel gay enough. And I never thought I was a strong enough lady. I never felt like a guy enough. I always thought I was a little bit of everything, you know. She said, you know, ever since I was younger, I've questioned the boxes I've been made to fit in, and that starts with who you're supposed to be as a youngster. Since everyone in this room knows without a doubt what it's like to decide to be who you are in a world that tells you to be everything but yourself, the speaker said, I'm truly so grateful to be seen in this room.